Welcome back, or welcome, to the third and possibly final part of the Ruby Beach alternate universe, written by uh, by five two four, or whatever that actually says. I don't know. It'd be nice if somebody told me. That'd be pretty good. Uh, so we have four chapters left, at least as of what's been released now, and we get right into it with Back to the Beach, since last time they were shopping. Fine, I guess I do owe you. Ruby remembered she would pay Weiss in affection. Learning how to swim would be a great way. Ruby looks like she's up to something. Might want to keep a close eye on her while we're there, the ravenette whispered, already sick of the heat. She'll be fine. She has Weiss, the blonde said with confidence. Wait. I Yang and Blake smirked, making kissy noises and er, making kissy faces and noise before bursting into a laughing fit as Weiss and Ruby blushed in embarrassment. I mean, they aren't wrong, Ruby mumbled under her breath so the others couldn't hear. We're just messing with you guys, though I really don't doubt it, the Ravenette admitted. Yeah, already having some, uh, okay, clearly. <laughs> that, that was necessary, because I, I totally turned that on. I totally, like, went and, oh, what is that? What? <laughs> the process system isn't responding, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Ah. Damn, I can't wait to get into my swimsuit. It's freaking hot as hell out here, Yang said, wiping sweat off her forehead. I know something, well, someone who's hot as hell out here, Yang said, her face red. Though it was a mix of a blush and heat. The blonde winked at her before leaning in for a kiss. She then picked Blake up by the waist, putting the girl over her shoulder, and ran ahead of Ruby and Weiss. Uh, Ruby looked over to Weiss with a smirk on her face. She stopped in front of Weiss. Here, I'll give you a horse back ride so we can catch up. I don't know if... The tent, but she jumped onto the girl's back, wrapping her arms around her shoulders. She didn't think Ruby was able to catch up with Yang at this point, but shut up. But why not at least give it a try? Besides, she was getting tired from walking in the heat. Once Weiss had a hold, Ruby bolted to catch up with Yang. Her speed surprised Weiss. She could certain, certain catch up with the blonde at this rate. Yang looked behind her to see how close Ruby was. She wasn't far. Shit, I just had to race Ruby, she shouted, pushing herself to run faster. Blake held tightly on to the blonde as she tried to move faster. How is she so fast, Blake said, a hint of amazement in her voice. Ruby didn't strike her as the type of person to be very athletic. I have no idea, but when school's in, she breathed in oxygen that her lungs were burning for. She always does, oh, she always does track and gets first place in every single time, every single time we have a race, Yang said, almost tripping over her own feet as Ruby passed her. Ha ha, Ruby shouted in triumph as they reached the sand of the beach. Once they got there, Yang was out of breath. Blake patted her back and gave her a kiss on the cheek. You were close and you tried, but that, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I had to. I had a chance against her in the first place. The blonde replied. I said, giving Ruby a quick kiss on the lips. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know that, except for Penny. I always got first place when we had races and track. Ruby replied as they walked in the changing room. So you can run, but you can't swim. I think you'd be a fast swimmer. Maybe Pierre. Would else took it. <laughs> Try not to have a nosebleed if you decide to take a look, Yang said with a smirk, earning her an eye roll before setting their bags down on the bench. 
She handed Blake her swimsuit and she took her shirt off. The ravenette blushed a deep red once she realized she was staring at the blonde's abs. The two came so far in just a day. Ha, thanks, sorry, Blake said, taking her swimsuit from the girl. She didn't mind changing in front of other people, and it was only when it came to changing into a swimsuit that she did. But she felt comfortable and safe around Yang. Still, she didn't Still, she knew they shouldn't rush anything. As the two finished changing, they waited in the crowded room while waiting for Weiss and Irwin to be done changing, assuming they had also shared a stall. <sighs> Here, we can put our stuff in my work locker instead of having to pay for separate small lockers, what Blake suggested as she guided Yang to the worker lockers. Well, that was unnecessary, Weiss muttered embarrassment as her and Ruby walked out of the stall now in their bathing suits. Well, I said I'd pay you an affection. I never said when. Besides, I slipped, so it was more of an accident, Ruby R Ruby laughed. I guess, and I can't say I didn't like it, Weiss mumbled. Huh? <laughs> never mind. I heard Blake say about putting their stuff in her locker so we can do the same. Come on, Weiss replied, dodging the question as she grabbed Ruby's hand to direct her to the workers' lockers. But Ruby had already heard what Weiss said. She just liked to tease her. What took you guys? Did you, you two have a makeout session or something? The blonde joked as Blake shut her locker with the, their bags inside. If anything, that's you two. And not exactly, Weiss replied, opening her locker and putting her bags inside, motioning for Ruby to, to hand her her bag. <sighs> you got us there. What do you mean by not exactly, Yang? That in Ruby said, trying to hide a mischievous smile. Kinda slipped, Blake asked suspiciously. <sighs> hey, Weiss, I thought you were going to show me how to swim, Ruby said, flustered, taking Weiss's hand and kiting her out of the changing room. Do you think it really was an accident? By the way she acted, I kind of think it was on purpose, mainly to see Weiss embarrassed, Blake said with a soft chuckle. Pfft, no way it was an accident. Anyways, ready to catch some waves? You did alright the other day, but it could use some work, the blonde commented as they walked out of the beach. I served a bit when I was younger, Blake spoke, suddenly lost in thought. <sighs> Yang looked over to the raven as they walked to get surfboards. Are you okay? We don't have to surf right now if you aren't feeling good, she said with concern in her voice. She stopped and took Blake's hand in her own. Ah, sorry, I was just thinking about the past. I often try to avoid that, though, Blake replied, a hint of sadness in her eyes as she lightly squeezes Yang's hand. Let's check how Ruby and Weiss are doing. Maybe that'll help keep your mind off of it, right? The blonde suggested keeping her gaze on Blake. She didn't want to talk about it, but she was curious to what happened in Blake's past. The Ravenette simply nodded in reply. The two walked over and into the water, still holding hands. How's the progress, Blake asked once they reached Ruby and Weiss. All right, we just continue. We don't need to, we don't need to deal with... Don't need to worry about uh, the Ben and Jerry's and what I don't even understand. Anyways, <laughs> sun and swimming. Well, we haven't made much yet, but I think we're getting there, Ruby. Weiss replied before turning back to Ruby. Okay, so I'll be holding your torso as you lay face down in the water. You will do the same after that, only with your back in the water. Okay, I got it. I'm ready. Ruby said as Weiss put her hands in Ruby's stomach as she lay face in the water face down. She moved her hands away so Ruby could float in the water on her own. And she did, but not for long. She panicked for a second, went underwater, and came back to the surface to take a breath. That was great. Are you alright? Weiss asked Ruby, patting her on the back as she coughed. I'm, she coughed, fine. I just couldn't breathe. Ruby coughed a few more times before it stopped. Alright, now try floating on your back. <sighs> Ruby did as she was told, holding her breath for a moment as the water goes over her face for a moment. Stay calm. Try to keep your breathing in check. If not, you'll go under, Weiss informed, letting go of Ruby's back, allowing her to float without support. Ruby lies in the water for a minute until a small wave passes through the water, bringing her under. She once again came up coughing. The blonde tries not to laugh, earning her a slight nudge from Blake. Well, that was good until the wave came. Guess I should have warned you, Weiss muttered. Ruby pouted. I don't like this, but I know I need to know how to swim, so can we just get to that now? Weiss had a small, a slight smile on her face, proud to see Ruby not giving up. 
I bet you could swim almost as fast as you r can run. So let's start with something easy, the doggy paddle. Can you at least do that? Hmm, I think so. I can try to reply nervously. Pfft, Yang smirked, holding back a dog. <coughs> Don't you dare, Yang, Blake warned the blonde. Aw, oh, really? You gotta be kidding me. I had a good one, too. Now fair is that. The blonde replied as Blake pounced on her, bringing the two in the water. She had that coming, didn't she? Weiss said, yet the smile remained on her face. Totally. Anyway, should I doggy paddle to the deep? Weiss, uh, Ruby asked as they were getting splashed by water. Yang and Blake were splashing at each other. Those ponds were catastrophic, Blake shouted, splashing water onto Yang. <laughs> Woo! When they all stopped and looked at the raven in shock. <laughs> I'm so proud, pun intended. Heh. <laughs> The blonde hugged Blake close, happy that Blake had joined in on the bad cat puns. She kissed Blake on the lips for a few moments before splashing each other again. Let's go before they both start staying, start saying terrible puns, Weiss told Ruby before swimming deeper. Ruby following in a doggy paddle. Try to keep your arm and you have to put your face in the water to the side, back in the water to the side and complicated but watch as i do it slowly wise explained doing just as she said she took a breath of air and began swimming slowly so we could keep up she not she stopped while kicking and moving her arms to stay above water to check how ruby was doing ruby wasn't far behind and she was even trying to swim as weiss was and move your arms like this weiss showed ruby how to move her arms as she stroked through the water she quickly caught on picking up the pace and even splashing a few people she went past ruby slowed down as she neared weiss how was that she asked a bright smile plastered on her face it was great and fast as i expected come back to yang and blake i'll follow beside you just in case okay. <clears throat> watching ruby swim back to Yang, Blake, might want to watch out, she shouted before following. Weiss tried to catch up with Ruby, but she was swimming too fast to catch up. Huh? The pawn looked into the direction Ruby was coming. Damn, that was fast. <clears throat> I knew she could do it if she tried. I'm sort of glad I didn't teach her to swim when I used to save her. The ravenette sighed a smile on her face as Ruby approached them. I know you're supposed to be beside me, but I kind of got excited and I'm having a lot of fun. Actually knowing how to swim, she apologized to Weiss, who was out of breath upon reaching the three. I knew you could do it. Can't breathe, need air. Uh, thanks, though, sis. <clears throat> Ruby laughed as she tried to breathe in the sweet air her lungs were deprived of from Yang's hug. Wait, we didn't eat yet today. Shit, I totally forgot, Yang mentioned. The group walked into a small building. Ah! The group walked into a small building where they could order food. They could have done it from the outside, but it was still too hot to be outside, though it was cooling down quite a bit. Hey, son, what's up? Lonely without Weiss and I here? Blake joked as they got to the counter to look at the menu behind Sun. Nah, I got Neptune with me today. You know he won't work lifeguard shift, Sun replied. I have my reasons, Neptune shouted from the kitchen. We know, just messing with you, man. So how are you ladies? Blake, Weiss, and friends. Sun acknowledged Yang and Ruby despite... Despite knowing their names, maybe. I'm Yang, and this is my sister Ruby. How come we haven't seen you in here before? The blonde asked. She recalled coming in here a few times before, seeing two girls with brown hair, one with long and the other short with the right dyed orange well coco and velvet decided to take the day off too probably on a date or something but ah nice to meet you guys oh, come on really okay uh yang and blake look at each other while Weiss, Ruby and Weiss looked at each other. Uh, they said quietly before Sun came in. I was talking about how Coco and Velvet probably took off to go on a date or something. What are those expressions, he asked, laughing as 
He looked at over to the group. Well, I'm dating Yang and Ruby's dating Weiss. We took off to hang out and, and we got together. Blake explained. And Nep and I are dating. Huh? The group said in sync. I thought we were stating the obvious. Sun laughed, looking over to the embarrassed Neptune. So are you guys going to order... Uh, the group looked at the menu, talked it over, and I spoke for them. We'll have yogurt parfaits, she replied as she reached into her hair clip, which had money tucked under it. Keep the change, she added. All right, can you go get them, Nep? Some ass pushing their money into it. Yeah, just don't call me that at work, Neptune. Hang back. Excuse him, for he, yeah, he's a dork, his son joked, leaning against the counter. That's, um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think I was actually the only one to know that you two are together, Blake chuckled. Really? How? Sun asked. Well, I've seen you guys flirt when we come in here, Yang added. Oh, well, it's not like it's supposed to be a secret, he shrugged. Hmm. Didn't Yang say? That they've never seen him before, but now they're acting like. She, but now she's acting like she has. Yeah, you got your guys parfaits. And son, it may not be a secret, but you don't have to go telling everyone. Giving the group their order. I'll say it over the beach speaker so everyone can hear. Sun replied, smirking as he reached over for the mic. Don't you dare, Neptune warned, holding him back. Uh, we'll see you guys later, Blake said, motioning for those to follow her outside. All right, see ya, Nep see ya, Neptune. If you pull my tail, I swear. Then don't say anything over the mic, Neptune said, releasing Sun's tail. Okay, okay, fine. Well, that was a great impression, huh? Weiss laughed. I'd say. They seem pretty cool, too. I didn't know Sun was part animal, too. Ruby are pretty cool, though. Ruby spoke, trying to get the lid off the yogurt. There are a lot of us, actually, but sometimes we prefer to hide it. It fell off, almost bumping into as if Yang and grabbed her shoulders to stop her. I'll see. around to face the group with a bright smile on her face. Okay, um, it's, uh, jokes all around, and we still have two chapters left, and it's been 17, 18 minutes already. Woo! Let's get reading. Hey, we said excitedly as she finally managed to get to open the lid. What is it? Did something good happen? Pira replied curiously. Yeah, Weiss taught me how to swim. I can swim almost as fast as I can run, Ruby admitted. Ah, I heard. John told me a few minutes ago. He was on lifeguard duty, and he actually happened to see a few things, actually. Pierre smiled and crossed her eyes. Why would she have crossed her eyes, anyways? Blake and Weiss blushed slightly, avoiding Pierre's gaze out of embarrassment. So you guys took all day to hang out together like Coco and Velvet, huh? Pierre smirked, tilting her head slightly. S sorry, we didn't exactly expect to end up together but ways or but blake spoke <clears throat> ah say no more it's fine i was hoping for it to be just john john and i today anyways period any more parfait but stop mid bite and swore under her breath she hadn't thought of that but weiss would still save her if she her mind suddenly raced with thoughts. Her mood here up. Ruby, are you all right? Pierre asked her, a concerned look on her face. Look, Ruby. Weiss put a hand on her shoulder, causing Ruby to look up at her with sorrow-filled eyes. I'm sorry, I was just thinking. Ruby apologized, putting the spoon in the cup to hold Weiss's hand. Blake and I. What? 
Neither will Blake and I. Now, come on, we can eat, change, and then head back to the apartment, all right? Yang suggested knowing Ruby all too well when she gets too deep in thought. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean, I was just saying, Pierre trailed off, feeling terrible for causing Ruby to feel as she does. I'm sure it just triggered a memory. It happens all the time. Though I don't know it, it though, I, though I don't show it if so. We know you didn't mean to. What? We know you didn't mean to, Pierre. Don't blame yourself, Blake assured. Though, Ruby, let go. She said with a small smile. If you say so, Ruby. I hope you feel better. I said Ruby gave the younger girl one last tight hug before letting her go back to the group. Trouble expressions as they walked inside. Taking a seat at one uh, once at once of the tables, the two guys looked at each other before looking back to the group, then back to each other. Neptune added to nodding to Sun as a clue for him to talk to talk to them. Sun did as Neptune wanted and walked over to the group and took a seat beside Ruby. Hey, back so soon? He asked, trying to keep his usual cool and upbeat tone. Ruby got lost in thought, and now Blake spoke. Her words suddenly drifted. Sorry, he asked. Is there anything I could do to help? The group looked... I'm not sure why Ruby got upset, but Blake had an idea. It's just that, since we were little... Or just... Since we were little, we... He's just afraid with high school and college that... What? Oh, come on. In college that, we aren't going to leave you, Ruby. We're a group, and it's separate one at that, Weiss assured, a small but genuine smile on her face. You guys are more like a team who look out for each other. Team Ruby. Wow. Really, really, really sticking out there. Really. Already made it, or, or, you know, already like, you know, already came up with before. <sighs> Team Ruby, the group asked. Yeah, like Ruby Ru Weiss. The Y. Team Ruby. Son grinned over his new discovery. Oh, the group said, realizing it was an ad. Yeah, I think it fits. What do you think, Nep? Son turned around. You have. I have team names, don't you? Neptune laughed, leaning his arms on the counter. Yeah, it's my thing. Also, like Juniper, Coffee, and Sun. Ruby laughed. You really had all those figured out. Yep, it just comes to me naturally. Like, I also have relationship names. Nep, Sun started, but was interrupted. Please don't tell them the name of uh, for hours, Neptune interrupted. that bad of a relationship. Vice and I's ship name. <sighs> this is like the stupidest part. <laughs> it's like, why? Why? Why are you doing this? Like, what's the point, even? <sighs> Stupid. Hair and Ruby has black and rose colored hair. Her last name is Rose and or Ice Flower since well that kind of explains. Like said excitedly, her mood now increased as if being upset never happened. Hmm, yes, it she supplied. <sighs> so it's like so annoying. I hate it so much. C 
Awesome, Yang stood up, slamming her fist on the table, almost knocking over the parfaits. I like it. It's really creative, Blake. Open the sting, Yang said confidently, sitting back down and capturing Blake's lips in the process. Once their lips parted, Blake laughed, taking Yang's face in her two hands and squishing her face. You shouldn't just punch people. Yang did the same to Blake. Can it be one exception, please? The blonde pouted. Uh, uh, hmm, yes, only one, though, Blake knew who could punch. But she hoped they w that they would never see him. It would be a full-blown fight if they do. The Ravenette stopped squishing Yang's face, but kept her hands on her face as she went for another kiss. The others laughed at the funny scene with the two girls. Hey, Nep, come here for a sec. I want to tell you something real quick, Sun spoke, trying to be serious so he can trick Neptune. Uh, all right, Neptune replied, walking over to the group, taking a seat beside Sun. The blonde-haired boy quickly moved his hands to Neptune's face. Hey, not cool, let go. I'll try the same trick Blake and Yang were using on Neptune. Look at me. Let me go, Neptune muttered, now being released by and kissed on the cheek by Sun, a slight blush appearing. The group laughed once again at the embarrassed Neptune and the confident son. Ruby wasted no time on Weiss, but Weiss was planning on doing the same, and they ended up trying to squish She knew Ruby was squishing her face. Prove it, then! <laughs> Ruby pouted before Weiss suddenly held on to Ruby's chin with one hand, forcing her forward as Weiss moved in for a kiss. She didn't expect Weiss to be so aggressive as the Ruby found that she didn't mind that the kiss was rougher than usual and blushed a deep red. Wow, guys, there are other people here, you know, Yang joked, earning her glare from Blake, causing her to laugh nervously. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You two are adorable. I agree. Now are you guys gonna eat or drink your parfaits? I can get straws, Sun asked, not sure if the group realized that they had forgotten about their order. Oh, uh, sure, Blake spoke for the group since Ruby and Weiss were too busy and Yang was too busy laughing. Gotcha, be right back. Nep, try not to embarrass yourself while I find the straws. Sun as he tried to find the straws from behind the counter. Nep, Hey, Blake. Yang turned attention to the situation at hand, whispering in Blake's ear before winking at her. <laughs> Blake's face immediately turned a deep red. Yang! The raven had pushed Yang's arm, causing her to fall out of the chair, which she would have done, already done since she had bursted out laughing. I just have to have cat ears, Blake mumbled, smiling at Yang as she continues her laughing fit. Hey, I found straws. What's up with her? I asked, looking over to the blonde girl. She was telling me inappropriate stuff. Laughing fit far. Yeah, yeah, no, drink your parfait before you end up wasting it, son. Chuckling straws and then outburst. So they picked up a straw, took a pea and took a piece of paper around it. Blake did the same, and she had an idea in mind. She mouthed the words hit Yang with the straw paper on the count of three, so Yang couldn't see. One, two, three. She aimed the three aimed the Yang. Face. No! No! <laughs> we didn't finish it! <laughs> uh, please get out of your stupid game. This is. Oh, these games are terrible. Come on! Okay. Paying attention. That was the point, Yang. Blake, ra Blake laughed, now putting your straw into the melted bar face. Ice cream. What kind of ice cream do you want? I think I want vanilla. No, chocolate. No. Oh, hey guys, came a voice from the entrance. The, the group and the two boys turned to see Nora and Ren. 
plans in pillow fights. Oh boy, now that we're at Oh god, okay. The group and the two boys waved to Nora and Ren as they walked over to the table. Aren't you two supposed to be working? Ren said. Ren asked, earning him a slight jab in the side from Nora. Ignore the party pooper here. Oh, we should have a party tonight. Nora shouted in excitement as the subject quickly changed. I mean, we could, but where would it be held? Yang asked, looking over to the to Yang and the rest of the group. Well, I'm guessing Ruby and I's place, since you, since all of you guys are staring at me. Yang chuckled, taking a sip from her parfait. You're the victim today, it seems, Weiss muttered, which was true. Woo, party, Nora shouted, jumping up and down multiple times before Pierre had entered the building upon hearing the boisterous redhead. Who was having a party working, Pierre asked, though she wasn't angry with the two boys. I guess we're having a party at Yang's. They pointed an accusing finger at the group. What he said. Besides, it's not like anyone besides our friends have came in here so far, Neptune shrugged. Yeah, and you and John should totally come to the party, Nora said, excitedly clinging to Ren's arm. Hmm, I suppose. When will the party be? The redhead asked Yang. The blonde shrugged. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, later, tomorrow? Maybe. I need to clean up and crap, so come, so I need some time. Aw oh, man, I hate cleaning, Ruby Power. It feels like being nice. Of course I'll help. What do you, you think I won't? I'll clean the whole room. Weiss snared her eyes, obviously missing. Lake was only kidding. Pierre laughed. Well, then, well, all right, then. I'll tell Jean. She hesitated for a moment before moving to walk back out of the building. The redhead walked over to Ruby, bending down and hugging her. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. Ruby hugged the older girl. Back. Sorry for making you think it was your fault. I got upset. I'll talk to you more tomorrow, though. It's it's quite a way. Right. Pierre really sting a girl. I'll, I'll see you in a bit, so go ahead and... Quick, I got you, son said, running back to the kitchen, grabbing an ice cream sandwich, running back, and giving it to Nora. He, the redhead, gave son a back-breaking bear hug as she accepted the treat. Your son coughed out. Yeah, yeah, I know, the fondest pouted. Anyways, you guys should get going. We'll do, monkey boy. Come on, guys. We better leave these nerds to clean up. Yang said, throwing the now to the two guys as they headed out the door. Blake simply gave a small smile, waving as well. And why? Day. I was looking forward to our next lesson, Blake. Yank smirked to the Ravenette, who jokingly joke. Out next lesson, you'll have to be a lifeguard for once. Blake gave a small chuckle. Or I could swim out and save you, Weiss su or Ruby suggested. She was still fairly excited about learning how to swim. Though Weiss may not be able to save her anymore, she can still joke around with her. The thoughts always brought a smile and a slight blush on her face. Yeah, I guess you could since you can swim now. You should become a lifeguard, Ruby. Your fast swimming could come in handy, the blonde said, a slight seriousness in her voice. Though she wasn't sure if they would hire another lifeguard, she hoped that she didn't raise and hoped that she didn't raise Ruby's hopes of actually becoming a lifeguard. I guess <clears throat> I guess Pierre tomorrow if she could. I'm not sure if she'd take another lifeguard, but I think she w the help would be appreciated, Blake shrugged. I'm surprised more human than cat it but not much you can do it when you live when you live somewhere cooler than somewhere hot what the raven the ravenette laughed she had forgotten that she had ran away from home taken a train and found a new life here I know you moved here, the blonde raised an eyebrow, but shook it off. It wasn't like Blake had anything to hide, or so she thought. Come to think of it, she didn't know much about her girlfriend. I'll tell you when we get to uh, get to apartment. <laughs> and please don't take my swimsuit top when we get to, when we change this time. The girls changing rooms. 
stuff from inside her locker, as did Weiss and with her and Ruby stuff. Blake and Yang changed together. Together, just Yang snickered as if she were already planning to do so. Though she left Blake alone as they changed, for not at least. What? What the hell is that? The blonde had planned for a surprise attack for her. Blake turned around to be cut off by Yang putting a hand on the Ravenette's cheek as she leaned in for a kiss. It was quick yet passionate. Jeez, you could have at least said so, you big dummy. Blake blushed as she didn't expect to suddenly be pulled into a makeout session. Heh, <laughs> guess it. I just wanted to see your cute blushing face. The blonde gave a toothy smile, laughing as Blake playfully shoved her. But it was just the start of Yang's plan for surprise kisses. What took you two so long? Weiss asked, standing outside of the stalls, dressed and ready to go along with Ruby, who seemed to be half asleep. Walking around, running and swimming had worn her out for the day. Oh, nothing, Yang. Group. Giving Ruby a horseback ride. As they entered Yang and Ruby's apartment room, Ruby had already fallen asleep on Weiss's back, so the white-haired female had carefully set let the younger girl down her bed. She took Ruby in the and her own bag of wet clothes and set them out on a rack in the bathroom to dry, as did the others. So. Weiss's bed. Anyways, I'm just changing into pajamas here if you two want to do the same. I suggest you wake up Ruby, but Blake was cut off by a snore from the sleeping girl. Just change her yourself. I can't guarantee she won't wake up. Like, I, think it'd, I think it'll be funny if she does, though, Yang said, as she picked out a pair of bedclothes which were all the same and got changed. I guess it wouldn't hurt to try, Weiss admitted. She got changed before she decided to change Ruby. Here goes nothing, she muttered, carefully taking off Ruby's shirt. Blake and Yang said, She hesitated for a moment before moving to her pants. As she was carefully removing Ruby's pants by pulling at the legs, which her timing couldn't have been worse, Ruby slowly woke up. Uh, Weiss, why are you, Ruby said, still in a daze of sleep as she realized what was going on. Well, Weiss, why are you taking off? Her face was bright red as Weiss quickly pulled the pants off. I, it, I wasn't, I thought Weiss was stuttered. She calmed down, taking a deep breath. I thought you were out, so Yang and Blake suggested I should change you myself. The white-haired female handed Ruby her She woke up, but I guess... She put her pajama on her hands on the side. Weiss removed her hand from the back from her neck and walked over to the bed where Ruby sat and took a seat beside her. It's all right. It's Yang's fault. And Weiss narrowed her eyes at the blonde across from her. And she burst out laughing, as did Blake. I can't believe you fell for that, the blonde said in between laughing. In my defense, I didn't really, I really didn't think she'd wake up, Blake asked. of hers. The two then ran their own and fought back. At one point, Ruby pills at Blake, causing her to fall back onto the floor and leaving the two others to No! Gang kneeled by Blake as she played dead. I will avenge you, my love, the blonde stated, grabbing Blake. What? Along with her own, Is still one enemy that said jumping on Yang and knocking her down in defeat. Yang laughed as Y tried to look her face as if he Hey, no fairs, Y Ruby pouted at the dog's finish of sneak attack he managed to take her down. No one kisses my Yang but Matt from laying on the floor. She was only kidding, but she did feel You're playing Swai. Go to Ruby. Go
Very hot. Into her eyes. Mine, Plague's tated cupping Yang's face. They're a great couple, and the fact. Right into each other's eyes until they face in her eyes closed for what seemed like hours, but in reality. Two others were still on the floor, staring into each other. She wasn't sure where her and Weiss would go if they said yes, but she doubted that the two would continue on despite the want to. Huh? It was as if a spell had been broken as Yank snapped back into reality. Nah, it's fine. I think we're all blondes. But it was better than she hoped. She... And though she didn't want to stop, she did it for the other's sake. Yeah, we should probably get some sleep. Blake spoke, yawning as well. She unraveled the ribbon in her bow, tossing it over. Her. The cat used to twitch as she kept an eye on Zwei, just in case she decide, just in case he decided to make a sneak attack as she climbed onto her bunk. Oh, that's why sleep with us if you two don't learn how to get along soon. Dog. She knew that being part cat. Was Would know I'll um I'll ped why tomorrow. Just please don't let him sleep between us. The Raven had begged, though she was willing to get along with why. I have to worry about the dog. Not liking dogs, so I can sleep with us then. Ruby suggested as her and wife sat down on the bottom of their. He shrugged and took her hair out from her usual ponytail and put the hair tie in her bag. Ruby is too busy setting Zwei at the end of the bed. Zwei said, She stuttered, but no words would come out. Weiss raised an eyebrow, wondering why Ruby was acting like this, until she realized that Ruby had never seen her with her hair down, and she blushed in slight embarrassment. It looks dumb like this, doesn't it? Weiss asked, thinking that Ruby doesn't like it dumb. And no, it just, I've never seen your hair down before. It actually looks cute, kind of more mature, too. Ruby stared at her, friends, her friend as if she were some angel that appeared before her very eyes. Ah! Oh my god, okay. So it's been eight months almost since this was last updated according to that. So we may not get another part for a while or something. Why did that chapter take so long? That was like more, that was like 12 minutes. God. It was probably... Um...